takes appropriate BSI precautions, performs appropriate patient assessment for the community. You're going to cover any open wound with the sterile dressing and control bleeding, support the fracture during the process. Check and report status of circulation, movement, and sensation distal to the fracture. The first EMS provider will make one gentle attempt to regain any severe angulation, to straighten any severe angulation by stabilizing and supporting above and below the fracture and maintain stabilization until the splint is applied and fixed. Go. There we go, above and below. You're going to place two well padded rigid splints, one medial and one lateral, to the leg or one to the posterior, but we're doing that one on the side, reaching from above the knee to below the ankle. Remember, you have to go through each joint. Uh, whoever is stabilizing will have to lift the leg and stabilize and hold the splint. Are the padicides in? You should start at the bottom and go underneath the slint boards and slide it up and tie the bottom so that Zach can hold the Ten on four, where it's you already it. tied. <laughs> Lift it. And make sure you tie the cravats to the board. Probably need to tie one above the knee and below the knee and above and below the ankle. Okay. Do that, you can do that figure eight foot tie that I, if you remember how to do that instead of doing two more. Start at the bottom of the foot, put it on the bottom, right in the middle. Oh, on the bottom of my foot, right on top of the foot. Right here? Yep. I have them both from on the cross it. I'll open tie them. That'll stabilize the bottom of the leg. They can't trust you with the camera. Can they? Yeah. they say you're taking their own. That's for sure. Okay, just one above the knee. Are you about the knee? Okay. Couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> Recheck CMS. That's so not my like knee, okay. but. <laughs> <laughs> You're not about the knee, are you? <laughs> Camera can't tell. All right. She doesn't have a knee. <laughs> Uh, checks and record status of circulation, movement, sensation, distal to the fracture site frequently. Oh, no need to necessary to maintain <laughs> circulation. Takes the appropriate BSI precautions, forms the appropriate patient assessment for scenario, covers any open wounds with a sterile dressing and controlled bleeding, supports the fracture during the process. Check and record status of circulation, okay. movement, and sensation, distal to the fracture. First EMS provider will make one gentle attempt to straighten any severe angulation by stabilizing for stabilization and support the bone below the fracture and maintain stabilization until the splint is applied. We're going to place two rigid splints, one medial or one lateral, or one padded splint to the posterior aspect of the leg. Remember, posterior is the back side of the leg. Yeah, put it under the leg. Underneath of the leg. I was just getting it into position. It's going to lift up while still holding. And securing it with a bandage. holding his leg so you can move your hand.
pull it up here for a little. Thank <laughs> you.